Let's take a look at Nexus One browser and if you have seen any reviews done comparing it to the iPhone you'll know that it's way faster even on 3G. Let's jump straight to it and as you can see it opens up instantly you have uh, zoom in and zoom out buttons on the bottom which go away after a couple seconds of idling. Now if you scroll all the way on top you have the URL bar which you can tap and you can type in the URL that you want to access or you can type in a search term and it's going to search Google for you. Let's press back and uh, you have a menu button which allows you to open new window, view your bookmarks, see already open windows, refresh button, forward and more which allows you to share the page, select text, view the settings and whatnot. Let's take a look at the browser speed. We're going to go to National, National Geographics simply because it is quite an intensive website as far as images go and as you can see the mobile version was instant it took just one second to load so we're going to click on the full website and load the desktop version of the site on top you can see the yellow progress bar and already most of the images are downloading and are in the, in the right positions and the web page is done now the difference between Nexus One browser and browser on older phones such as MyTouch or G1 is that the page loads fully zoomed out so you can see the entire web website page versus a smaller zoomed in portion that you see on other Android devices and when you zoom out it's quite laggy with the, with the Nexus One it stays fast it's still smooth the scrolling is you can flip the phone sideways to have landscape which is instant there is no delay whatsoever let's go back to portrait you can double tap anywhere to zoom in now let's go to endgadget.com actually what we're going to do is we're going to press uh, go back to full website and we're going to open a new window to see how fast we can switch between tabs so let's open a new window and we're going to go to endgadget.com which is another website which is extremely image heavy and we'll see how fast that loads and as you can see it's almost done the, uh, the progress bar shows it you can stop loading it if you wish and uh, it's going to be done, okay it's done now you can scroll through it, we can double tap to zoom in we can click this link to go and read the full article which is now loading now we can also press the menu key and we can see our open windows as you can see we have National Geographic, Google and Ad Gadget. we can click on National Geographic and we are going to that page with no delay whatsoever now we're back at end gadget we can close the tabs go back to national geographics we can once again do landscape view so as you can see the browser is really fast and this is over Wi-Fi I'm not sure if I mentioned that now let's take a look at the bookmarks Compared to older Android devices running 1.5 and 1.6, this has been redesigned as to where you have a snapshot of the web page. And it looks nice, it looks neat as compared to before, for example. But it's not as neat as HTC Sense, but it's still much better than, than previous Android versions. And if you haven't noticed, the uh, URL bar has been redesigned also to look a bit more stylish and it's easier to click to type in the URL. So there you go, this is your Nexus One browser review. I hope you enjoyed it.